<sighs> Hi, I'm Sirius Black. Hi. A regular Black. Wow. <laughs> Welcome to our tea party! <laughs> Today, we are going to find out what Hogwarts house we are in. Because obviously, the sourcing hat is not the most credible source um, of sourcingness. The www is far more reliable than the one. The www. What's the www? The www. The www. The www. The www. Remus has told me, and I. I The, the wizarding, no? The wonderful wizarding whatever. Perfect. We were sorted when we were 11. Before. Yes. We've changed, we've developed. We've changed. We've, some of us have become auras, others have become death eaters. Some of us have made positive, good life choices, others have not. Some of us have got significantly more hairy, and hair adds personality. Which is why I just think you should definitely grow some, <laughs> then you might have some sort of personality to you. <laughs> Not just you This is your ring, I didn't... Yes? Yes. Answer honestly and truthfully. Alright. Uh, mm -hmm. Dawn or dusk? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I didn't know I like both. Uh, You're definitely a nocturnal type. It's true. You are a creature of the night. <laughs> 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 you perish in sunlight, you're so sensitive. <laughs> The pollen count I do is lower burn. at night. <laughs> That's true, actually. And with dawn brings new possibilities of what? <laughs> bad things. Although bad, bad things typically thing. happen at night, yeah. so maybe it's dawn. <laughs> Depends, really. I'm gonna go with dusk. Like you said, pollen count is lower. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pollen count is lower. Ooh. How would you like to be known? To, to history. history! The great. The great. The wise. <clears throat> Definitely not the you. The bold. Definitely not you. The good. Okay, well, uh, I can only see one possibility there for you and you're never going to attain it. So, that would skip. Is there a skip button? The great. The great. The wise. The wise. The bold. I wonder which one is pertaining to which. <laughs> I do wonder. I don't know. The great. <laughs> which of the following do you find the most difficult to deal with? Loneliness, boredom, hunger. Well, if I was <laughs> finding boredom difficult to deal with, I wouldn't hang around you. But <laughs> clearly not that one. <laughs> hunger, being ignored. Oh, you definitely don't cold. like the cold. You definitely don't like the cold, regulars. The cold. High pollen count, cold. <laughs> loneliness. What? Loneliness. Loneliness? But you've got a creature. I know, but sometimes it's out on errands, and then I'm quite lonely. <laughs> you sit in your room like, I wonder what creature's coming back. I honestly don't know what to do with myself. Sorry, but I'm alone. <laughs> Let me just double check with it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> One of your housemates has cheated on a hog with his Who would ever do that? Using a self spelling quill. Sounds like something James Potter would do. <laughs> Now he's come top of the class in charms, beating you into second place. I feel like I'm regressing, <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> Professor Flitwick is suspicious oh. of what happened. He's always suspicious. He's full of suspicion. That's why he's so short. <laughs> that was, that's why you're short as well. You're suspicious. You're full suspicious. of suspicion. The more suspicious you are, the shorter you are. Tall people will have nothing suspicious about them, and they have no qualms and fears. I thought you meant like a sense of suspicion. Yeah, and both that. Suspicious people are shorter, and people, people, <laughs> and people you should be suspicious of are shorter. Right. I don't understand your logic, but <laughs> yeah. I don't understand much about you, so we'll just go <laughs> off with that, won't we? That's why you're so short. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> That's why you're so leggy. <laughs> leggy. <laughs> You're short but tall, you've got long legs but you're quite little. I give tall energy, I've been told. You do. And people find it quite shocking with how short I am actually when they meet me. Yeah, pocket sized. <laughs> That's you, five I, I was going to say, I can say it because I'm small. Okay. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, he draws you aside and asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. Did he use a forbidden quill? What do you do? Why is it so tiny? Ugh. Oh! Tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. 
Also, as you're both in the same house, any points you lose will be regained by you for coming in first. No, place. that's loser talk. That's coward talk. That's traitor talk. <laughs> You'd wait. You would not wait to be asked to tell. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew someone was using the forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Sounds like you're a grass. Mm -hmm. Lie and say you don't know, but I hope somebody else tells Professor Flitwick the truth. Tell Professor Flitwick that you ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, he will. Too why, why, why is just like not say anything? Right, just, like, that's like, this one, like, lie. Lie and say you don't know. I hope someone, yeah, else, you hope someone else tells him the truth. It's like, why wouldn't you just tell the truth then if you hope someone else would tell the truth? Sounds like Hufflepuff talk to me. <laughs> Sounds like the board has talked to me. Uh, we don't lie. We do to get do each other out of time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Then I hope someone else tells the truth. No, that's not... Um, well, I wouldn't say first. It's like... Uh, the last one... Resolve, resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth, you will. I'm going to pick that one and say, tell Professor Flitwick he ought to ask a classmate. Mm -hmm. And then if he doesn't tell the truth, that's up to him. It's with his conscience. This is this one, but with my amendment. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! Jesus, Catherine. Cats tap touts. 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 What did you. Touts. Touts. Owls. Owls. I would like a. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go into the uh, <laughs> menagerie or shop, animal shop and go and get towels. Excuse me, could you show me your towels? <laughs> I'm much intrigued to see your towels. Towels? 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 Can I offer you a towel? <laughs> I've always wondered about towels because... <laughs> 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 yeah. Owls. Obviously Ooh. useful. Technically in your employment. Yeah. Cats. Screamy. Hairy. But give good cuddles. Mm -hmm. Towds. <laughs> slimy. Sit lick there. their own eyeballs. Sounds like Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh, contribute much. <laughs> Why would I want a towd? Why? Now I want a towd even more. <laughs> I want a towd just for its uselessness. <laughs> I just even pointed it. You useless. <laughs> <laughs> You're useless, but I love you. <laughs> you do, what? What ails you, tiny freeloader? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know my best towel noise. What? <laughs> no. What was that? Bubble. 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 <laughs> that's really good. Oh, that's really good. He's quite a masculine <laughs> He's like, like he's about your, this big and I like your little girl. <laughs> <laughs> I can't cope with that noise for the rest of my life. <laughs> um Oh <laughs> This silhouette also doesn't look like a towel. I don't no. know what they've chosen. They've definitely chosen an owl. They've definitely chosen a cat. What, what is, is that? that? It looks like a little dragon. Whoa, it looks like a dragon. Maybe towels become dragons. <gasps> Towed. Towed. Yeah, <laughs> look at this proud creature. If you're attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to date with me? It's... He looks like he's got way more personality than most ties of Towds I've ever seen. A Harlequin Towed. Ooh. Harlequin Towed. Oh, that's a dragon Towed. Dragon Towed. <laughs> dragon Towed. Towed. That's very cool, actually. Same. There's a theory. Nutter Jack, yeah, I'm not sure. He looks like he sleeps a lot. I'm a Nutter Jack, child. Oh, he does look like he's... I'm a Nutter Jack. What accent is that? He does look like he's from Somerset. It's a Nutter Jack. Or like, Yorkshire. Oh, yeah. He looks like a That's, some, that's a Nutter Jack, child, that is. Somerset, <laughs> Hello, <laughs> can we interest you in a nutter jack? <laughs> it looks like he works in a sweet shop. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and a common towel. Well, that's just you. <laughs> <gasps> oh, 
look at him. That touched your heart, didn't it? <laughs> He's no. so ugly. Just like you, you should have him, soulmate. I kind of do want him. <laughs> he looks a little bit like Creature. Uh, fine. <laughs> fine, next time I see Creature, I'm like, you three toed tree toad. <laughs> three toed tree trout. Three, three toed tree child. <laughs> Try saying that fast three times. Three, three toed tree trout. Three toed tree trout. Two toed tree Three toed tree I can't even say it once. Three toed tree trout. <laughs> do I want him? Do you? Or do I want... I don't want to call him. I don't want him. You don't want him now, Josh! Shut up. No, I don't. He's like, he looks quite regal. But he also looks like he's sort of... Gives me Lucius Malfoy energy. He, he does. He looks like he's too full of himself. Like, you're a toad, my friend. Like, yeah. you've got nothing to be proud of. You spicy bastard. Dragon toad. Does it turn into a dragon? No. I don't know, I'm not well versed. It just is confused about its identity. It's it identifies as a dragon, clearly. I think I'm gonna go for the little one at the end. I like him. Oh, Sweet. Yeah. He Can looks like I can sort of keep him in my pocket. And he goes... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tree toad, tree toad. And he'll cry when I cry. He looks empathetic, I think he that's does. why I like him. He, yeah. Time to burden a creature <laughs> with more words. <laughs> That's what a pet's are for, isn't it? <laughs> to share your mental disabilities and woes and... What? <laughs> I don't have mental disabilities. We, we're in the black family, yes we do. Whether you want it or not, you've inherited disabilities. <laughs> it's not my fault I'm a product of incest. <laughs> you didn't ask to be born. <laughs> Definitely didn't. You were born at such a young age. I was born at such a young age. <laughs> <sighs> the first few years of my life. I couldn't even walk. Actually, I could. I could walk by the time I was two, but I don't think that's really a boast. I think most people can, apart from you. Which of the following would you most like to study? Mad people? No. Kind of remind me of toads. Tauds. Tauds. Yeah. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Centaurs. Centaurs? kind of scare me. Your hair went in my eye. Werewolves! No. <laughs> vampires. vampires! You look like a vampire! Choose vampires! Click! Click! No, don't click me. Goblins. Goblins. No, <laughs> Trolls. What is there to learn about a troll? Right? Lesson go. one. <laughs> the end. <laughs> ghosts. Ooh, you look like a ghost as well. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Nope. What have you done? Oh, sorry. <laughs> ghosts, because they're people, is weird. Goblins, weird. Vampires, vampires weird. weird. Werewolves, weird. No, werewolves are monstrous. Centaurs, weird. Yeah. Mad, Mad people, weird. weird. The only one that, like, you can get away with is a potential... I suppose it's about learning about different cultures. Yeah. I don't think werewolves really have culture. Maybe vampires, I don't really know anything about them. Yes. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Four <laughs> boxes. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> Same brain train. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I need to wipe the. No! <laughs> Four boxes <laughs> are placed before you. Or which you should try to open. <laughs> the gleaming jet black box with a silver lock and key with a mysterious rune. What could you say with the mark of Merlin? A small pewter box. Small pewter box. Plain. Plain and unassuming like you. Plain, <laughs> I'm assuming, <laughs> with a message saying, I only open for the worthy. Sounds very Gryffindor. <laughs> a small tortoiseshell box oh. with gold, which some small creature seems to be. I was about to say, could you, you could, right? You could keep your toad in there, you could keep great. your toad in there. Your toad would sit perfectly, be a throne for your toad. <laughs> the toad throne. Toad throne, I love it. Uh, but secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lay within. I know all about unbearable temptation. <laughs> I don't need more. <laughs> okay, Karen. Which one are you gonna pick? Which little box? Um, I like that one. How very Slytherin of you. I just like the towel box, but. By the way, yeah. just so you know, if you get Slytherin again, I am disowning you. No pressure. You can't disown me. If I've already disowned you. <gasps> Why you black? I mean, that's our family name. So yeah, it would be. Oh, oh. 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 No, I'm really nervous. What the sorting hat has reached a decision. What if I get Hufflepuff? <laughs> then I'll disown you still. 
<laughs> I'm still just saying. I'll take a Gryffindor. No, I won't. Let's see. Let's, if you get Slytherin, that's it, brother. Goodbye. <sighs> no pressure on that. I'm sensing Slytherin. Oh. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, it was just changed to green. Why is that me? Because <laughs> it was you. <laughs> I made you an avatar in advance. That's you, that's how I perceive you. <laughs> Our most renowned members, Severus Snape. <laughs> really? That's the best you could scrape from the bottom of the barrel? And Bellatrix is oh. and Bellatrix Black. <laughs> oh, what a boast to be a part of that little club. But Merlin was also a Slytherin. I didn't know that. What? I didn't know Merlin was a Slytherin. I feel betrayed. Oh, I feel slightly betrayed as well, actually. That's awful. Okay. Well, that according to the legend, the ribbon of the first order of Merlin is green to reflect his Hogwarts house. <laughs> don't tweak my nipple. That's quite. I didn't know that at all. I like they had to like slide that in there to sort of make you feel a bit better about yourself. Yeah. Because uh, they, you've got to have something <laughs> going for you in your house. That sounds pretty good. I I would have assumed Merlin would have been a Ravenclaw. Don't picture your dress. <laughs> there, I'm just like I'm just gonna like. Why does that not look like? Why why is that me? Because that's what you look like. No, not. Yes, it is. Not. That is precisely I like how you. Confusion. Look, there's your towel and like, everything. It's my towel. I I predicted your towel. <laughs> <laughs> this my is why I'm a core tie with <laughs> a puff scarf. Your Gryffindor background. This is why. This is why I was so good at divination. Look, I predicted your towel. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, it's Ooh, different. It's different. Oh, I wasn't prepared for that. Oh no. <laughs> River Forest. Do you feel more the call of the water or the call of the trees? I have more good memories in forests. A troll has gone berserk in his- This is all different! What? I thought I wouldn't be the same. Otherwise you could cheat. And the headmaster said, that's exactly what I intended to do, Regulus. Ah. Uh. I already had the answers in my head, I was in there like, that's how I'm going to answer, that's how I'm going to answer, and now it's all different, now I'm going to read. Okay, Headmaster Study, uh, uh, Charles has gone berserk in the Headmaster Study at Hogwarts. He is about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you, oh my god, it's like sitting my owls again. In which order would you rescue the objects? She did not show you all of them. Oh, wait, okay. What's the do I, how do you know what the others are? Maybe you can move them. Maybe. A nearly perfect cure for dragon box. Nearly perfect. Okay. Student records go. No. Mysterious handwritten book for strange rooms. No, reorder. I do the cure first. Student records last. Mysterious handwritten book. Okay. Yeah. No, because you're so good. It's just dragon. No, but like. It's like it's life threatening. Yeah, I know, but I've had dragon box several times and it's you not still nice. Do. Confirm order. Oh, oh, here we ah. go. Ah, I know where I'm going with this. I already know. Werewolves. Why? Because I like them. They're quite simple. Moon comes out. Ugh! Moon goes to sleep. Ah. That's it. That's the only thing, is it? It's true. They're actually extremely complex creatures. They're literally not. It's a blood curse. They literally turn into a monster every full moon. I don't think they're very funny <laughs> being called monsters. That's very black and insensitive of you. It's very black. <laughs> <laughs> like our family. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you think I meant? I'm calling the werewolf the monster. It is a murdering monster that will rip apart people into. I don't them. have the time or the crayons to explain why you're wrong. You are well. No, I'm not well. Just like <laughs> seem very vegan of you. It's not very <laughs> vegan of me. You can't be a vegan and a werewolf. Where Who's the real dead? monster really here? Well, <laughs> vegan. Well, was he too much meat? <laughs> the muggle, c a muggle, the muggle, <laughs> the only muggle, the only muggle. a muggle. Let's call him Steve. Steve. Confronts you and says that they are sure you are a witch or wizard. Do you ask what makes them think so? Tell them that you are worried about their mental That's health and offer to call a doctor. That's like them. Agree and ask whether they'd like a free sample of a jinx. <laughs> Agree and walk away, leaving them to wonder whether you are bluffing. Oh, it's got to be the free sample of a jinx. 
I like the idea of gaslighting them. I like your questions more than mine. Can I do it again? No. Oh. <laughs> After you have done. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, no shots for immortality in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it you like immortality? My shadow is like when you're dead. <laughs> when you're dead and gone at your funeral, what would you like? You know, like after you died. <laughs> okay, what would you? This feels rigged. <laughs> when you finally perished. Mhm. Mm what would you most like to do when they hear your name? What, what, it feels like Peter's written this. What would you most like people to do when they hear your name? Okay. Thank Mel and your dad. <laughs> no! Nickels! <laughs> okay. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Miss you. But smile. <laughs> Sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Shame. Oh, mm. I'm so glad the asshole's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Think with admiration on your achievements. Never no, it won't happen. I'm, I'm quite yeah. realistic. <laughs> I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Uh, no, it's good to be asked more story. Ask more uh, stories about my adventures. You need to have one first. <laughs> I've had plenty. You just haven't been involved. <laughs> Right. <laughs> toads! <laughs> we were at the toads! Toads. Toads! I'm definitely not a cat person. Mm. It's... <sighs> Mother's a cat person. Yeah. She actually has like ten upstairs. Is that what that screaming is? Yeah, I don't know if it's her. her. No. She sounds like ten cats in a bag. <laughs> Shaking around. <her> <laughs> I think she just put a cat in a bag and shake it she's angry. <laughs> she doesn't have you to do that to anymore. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. How? <laughs> I'm quite, I'm quite drawn in by the towels. Yeah. But I think I'm gonna go with owls. Just can put it to work. I don't have a house up anymore, so you might as well get now. No, I just like all this more. And like you said, they're actually useful, and then I can send letters to my friends, which you don't. Have, <laughs> <so>. <laughs> you are a cat. <laughs> cat. If you were, if you were attending Hog, <laughs> what is this quiz about? <laughs> When you're dead, if you were <laughs> to get accepted into Hogwarts, wow, okay. When you were, I swear you said when you were attending Hogwarts, not This one is very doubtful with your med medical ability, that as well. Your magical ability. <laughs> okay. Medically fascinating. Which pet would you choose to take with you? Not a bar now, I hate Can't choose a time. <gasps> Look at that fluff bucket. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Oh, Screech Owl sounds fun. <laughs> he looks very wise. How <laughs> about Brown Owl? I don't know, it's between the Screech Owl and this bad boy. <laughs> He's chonky. He I looks like a Dorito. I like how chonky he is. The chonkiness gets me. As long as I'm not being sold a false product, that if he goes, that he will, that there won't actually be much mass to him. I think their legs are really long. <gasps> oh yeah, when you pull up the owls and it's just like longy leggies. What would I call, would I call maybe Fandango I would call him? Fandango. Fandango. Or Bowie! <gasps> uh, Bowie the brown owl! Don't get a pet. Screech! I already have one. Mm. Is it well? No. It's called Peter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Screech! <laughs> Screech owl! Sounds like it could terrorise people. That's the only reason I'm slightly drawn towards mm -hmm. Screech Owl. I feel like he could terrorise. Mm -hmm. But a brown owl, Bowie Looks like the... he'll give you good life lessons. I don't want any of that. So good. let's go with Screech Owl, maybe. Yeah. Fan Fandango the Screech Owl, maybe? He looks more like a... Dylan. A <laughs> Dylan! <laughs> Where did you pull that from? <laughs> he does look like a Dylan, look at him. Okay, fine, Dylan. I love the Screech Owl. <laughs> Once every century, the flutterby bush produces flowers that sounds adapt fake. their. Sorry. That sounds fake, does it? In the world that we live in, <laughs> flutterbys where you draw the limit. Werewolves, vampires, goblins. Yeah, that's real. And flutterbys. Blast and it scoots, but a flutterby. Not real. That's it. That's, that's it. Enough. Break your wand. I like this stupid. Forget my <laughs> muggle. It's not. <laughs> A flutterby bush produces flowers that adapt their scent to attract the unwary. 
If it lured you, it would smell of the sea. No, nope, can't swim. City, city, salty. Home! Definitely! <laughs> 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 a cracking log fire. Good. Fresh parchment. There! What? what sort of choices are these? This flutter by shit! <laughs> Flowers, roses, chocolate, like. Right? <laughs> a cr I, strawberries. I guess it's gonna be. I guess it's going to be a crackling log fire. I mean. Because. I don't really like the sea. I'm not a big fan of the sea. No. No, I'm not a big fan of the sea at all. <laughs> the sea has, has done all the worst <laughs> things to me in life. Like what? <laughs> I don't I mean, have you ever been to the seaside? I, every time I have to take James, because he sometimes has to be taken to the seaside. Not once, sometimes four, up to four times a day for his health. So he doesn't perish. That sounds stupid. That sounds worse than a flutter by bush. It's not stupid, it's for his health. What's and so, he for your health? But lots, he sustains me. <laughs> so, <laughs> the sea, I don't want, I don't mm. But the actual sea itself, too wet, too mysterious, too weird. It smells um, salty like seaweed. And I have a actual war against the sea. You can't swim. No. I can swim. Why can't you swim? Because mother never, she only taught me how to drown. Mother didn't teach me how to swim. Mother just held me under the water and gave me a slight phobia of water, so. Home, definitely not. It's gonna have to be the crackling log fire. Actually, then again, fresh parchment reminds me. Reading, which you also can't do. <laughs> it might remind me of someone. Mm. No, crackling log fire. Ah. Back. No, I'm not gonna choose it. No! I'm not choosing choose it. Choose it. No, wait! You lied because you lied. No, I didn't. You didn't go with your gut. No. You were worried you'd get slurring. No, I'm not. Here we go. I'm not scared. <gasps> Look at that. Ugh. Look at that. Oh, I'm glad that we're exactly where we started. <laughs> I'm glad we have had no personal development since we were both 11 years old. I'm glad we're exactly the same. Perfect. Who's Harry Potter? They spelled James wrong. <laughs> That's a weird spelling of James. It's entirely <laughs> wrong letters. <laughs> oh, that sounds exciting. Uh, Minerva McGonagall's, McGonagall's hobbies include correcting articles in Transfiguration today. It's like, what is that all you do with your time? <laughs> you just correct someone's spelling mistake. We like to just correct other people who what? are wrong. Are you making fun? Yes, I am. Of the myth, the legend that is McGooks. Sounds quite boring. Yeah, I said it. And I'll say it again. This video is over. <laughs> <laughs> Cut. Um, uh, I was sort of hoping to have hope, to hope, to hope, to hope, to hope that you weren't the asshole that I thought you were, and here I am. But at least I'm still correct um, that you are just definitely an asshole. I was hoping you wouldn't be so pig headed as I thought you were and arrogant. And yet here you are. <laughs> so that, um, I don't want to read and hear about my stories and my adventures that I haven't had. Again, <laughs> you have had no involvement in my personal life. So therefore, <laughs> <laughs> so that. <laughs> you sure you're not meant to be in Slytherin? No, I'm you're doing don't. a very good Bellatrix right now. No, I didn't. I'm really coming to want... Sorry, personality no, today. Do you, do you, do you want to just keep stabbing me? I really am. Yeah, a two quite mean day. To. Um, Do you want to see my best Bellatrix impression? No. No, I didn't think so. It's quite spot on. The beard is stronger than yours, though. <laughs> <laughs> the family is going to <laughs> remove me if I keep making these videos with you. <laughs> Sorry, I've been so mean to you this video. That's all right, you're mean to me every video. But no one sees that! <laughs> <laughs> What a bad person you are, Sirius! Stop making fun of Regulus! Stop being so horrible to your little brother! As he sits here and shits on me <laughs> constantly. <laughs> but because I apologise, it makes it okay. Because <laughs> you're so cute, I will Because you can be an absolute bitch and then just apologise and go, a woo, and then everyone will just believe that you're a nice person when actually you're a bit of a cunt. So, oh, Sirius, that was so mean of you. Oh! <laughs> but it's okay, I don't care. <laughs> brush that off. <laughs> uh, yeah. there are much more important things in life to worry about than being called the C word. I what? What do you have to worry about? 
Well, <laughs> I was going to make fun of you again and I restrained it. I hate this house! <laughs> Good save me, brother. Ah! No, ow! Ow! Oh, don't pinch it, you pinch oh, I'm me! Sorry. And I'm wearing ringlets! <laughs> Your hand is just really limp like a dead fish. I don't know what to do with it. You don't have a very strong hand. I do! Come here. Alright. I'm. Ah! Oh, what did you. Why did you? I just like you're just becoming mother. Oh, <laughs> I need to get my practice in somewhere. It's almost like I have trauma. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you need to pack some of that into a box and lock it. Throw it in the sea. No, it, the sea can't have it. <laughs> it's my trauma. The sea can't take anything from me. This is why I, the, I can only see you once a month. It's a lot. What? I've been serious black. Oh, that's a relief. I am regular black. And stay cowdy. Make sure you don't make any personal development like us. No. Um, choose the right house, which is Gryffindor. Let us know below which Hogwarts house you are in. Stay magical. And we will see you. Or I, I definitely will. He might not. We'll decide. Well, I will see you. He might. <laughs> see you in the next video. Ta-ta, darlings. <laughs> You do have a one right? So you can't say accurate. Oh yeah. Um accurate cat. <laughs>